Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Hi, I'm Brinks. I got a little surprise for you. Is it the surprise that there's no whiskey here? Yeah, no, no. You're gonna like this. Okay. I promise. Okay. You promised. I do promise. The old lady promised. She spent many years on this earth puttering about. She's always come through with the red breast. Small batch cask strength. No age. No age statement. Ooh la la. Just cask strength. So that can mean a couple of things. Whenever a brand releases no, no words, a no age statement. Yeah, this was released just for the U.S. One, they want to sell some cheap stuff and make some make some fat stacks, or they wanted to have no holds barred, complete freedom and flexibility whenever they're putting <laughs> together a release. And uh, yeah, we'll see whether or not because you know now, I, you know I enjoy the red breast because I care. Well, <laughs> somewhere over here. Yes. Are we I, comparing? Yeah, we're gonna compare it to the wow. Cask Strength Twelve. Wow. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, I yeah. can find it. I very much enjoy the Cask Strength Twelve red breast. Um. Oh. Is this it? That's it. Oh, you got. Because it. what we want to see is these are priced about the same. Really? Yeah, they're both 100, 130, 150. Yes. And so you have a 12 year old 150 or a no age statement cast strength yes. 150. I'm so excited for two main reasons. Mm. One, this is actually one of my favorite, just yeah. want to relax and enjoy a nice pour. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite whiskeys is the cast strength. Uh, two, hey everybody, it's Whiskey Vault and there's a big brand. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I actually snuck this one up the line a little bit just uh, so that we oh, could do you this. You cheated, all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for cheating. Okay, and so first. stealing and drinking. No age statement, cask strength. There's less of that buttery quality that there I remember. There is. Yeah. And less of the oak, obviously. Less mm. of the dark tannin mm -hmm. notes. It is sweet and bright. I'm not getting a lot. And... Oh, there we go. The vanilla cream. Yeah, the vanilla cream's there, but it's not Agitate buttery. That. It's not buttery, mm -mm. right? The it's vanilla cream is there, but usually I'm getting like this shortbread cookie buttery cream. It's a vanilla cream, like butter frosting. Buttercream frosting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that sweet, savory, buttery pastry note, that's not quite mm -mm. in the no age statement. The NAS. Produce. I wonder if there's more bourbon in this. There's both sherry and bourbon, right? So, but I wonder if there's more bourbon. The barrel, not actually putting bourbon. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. The bur the bourbon barrel and cherry barrel. Yeah. Jeez, caught me off guard. Oh wow, that's there's all the sherry cask. Yeah. This is fifty eight point seven. Much more creamy. Wait. Much more creamy on the taste than the nose. Yeah, I think that's fifty eight point seven. No. Yeah, it is. Mm. So. Mm. It's mm. very mm. dense and sweet, but it's not dark fruit. It's all light candied peaches and jam and... So I think some of the thicker, richer, more mature no mature notes mm -hmm. that we associate with red breast, mm -hmm. I think those are going to show up in the, in the 12, 12 year. And then we're going to see that the cask Both cask brought strength. everything to it. Both cask strength is actually... If it's darker on the 12. Yeah. So, blue bottle. Oh, it? there it is. There's that musty, yeah. malty note. The yeah. darker fruits. So the Red Breast 12, just the regular release, not the cast yeah. drink. That is a very uh, good gateway whiskey, beginner friendly whiskey. There's a lot that's easy to love in that. In that. And then whenever you're ready to crank the volume up on the proof, better the flavors, they keep up with the proof. The cast strength is beautiful, man. Yeah. Oh, that's rich. Definitely more of the, the barrel and the wood. And the oh, okay. So there's a depth and density to the 12 cask strength mm -hmm. that this no age statement one doesn't even touch. Yeah. That's remarkable. Uh. This is just like, oh, it's a, yeah, it's a high proof Irish whiskey. Yeah, and this it's is nice. Good. There's interesting things going on. And I'm gonna put a little water. No age statement on this. Mm -hmm. Frankly, not incredibly surprising because comparatively, this doesn't come across as there's a lot of potential, a lot of promise there, and there's things that you can like right now, but it feels like it still needs some more time in the oven. I think with a little, I, I don't know, I think I'm a little disappointed that they're the same price. I would, same price, I'd go for this all day. Yeah, I, I would say if this was halfway between as much as this and as much as the generic red breast, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah, that fits. 
Oh yeah, situationally there could be a good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it softens with a little water. Mm. And the really aggressive brightness of the sugar yeah. gets tamped down a it's little. It's kind of this, this dark caramel shortbread cookie. Mm. Oh, you're on the 12. I'm yeah. on the 12. I just added some water to your non-age statement one. Okay. Try that one. Oh, it's nicer. It's a softer, oh. creamier nose. <laughs> but I was so excited to be out red breast, I forgot. Daniel Thomas gave us this bottle. Daniel Thomas is a magnificent bastard. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. Daniel Thomas is a you magnificent. This is a This is a This is a Uh, this, yeah. <laughs> was like, oh, nice. Uh, and somebody sent the whiskey very generously. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. The human being responsible for us being able to enjoy this. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Trying the no age statement with a little water. I do like the nose better with a little water. Yeah, me too. No, I like the whole thing better with a little water. Proof down to about 50. It's a little more interesting. It's still bright and shiny and all the vanilla creams yeah. instead of the darker fruit notes, yeah. but it's it, better. It does get creamier mm -hmm. with, the, it wakes up the creamy quality with a little bit of water, mm -hmm. you're right. But just the complexity and the layering of notes Doesn't from like come close. The, the, the dark, rich, hefty character that's in the 12 and then you go all the way up to like this sweet, creamy vanilla. Ah, damn, it's good whiskey. I yeah, like it's whiskey so much with the mouth. I drink it with my mouth and I say that's good. You give me the whiskey all day. Joey Go Geo. Joey Geo. That's the thing. Oh, Video oh, content and idea. Revisit the worst, but with other guests. Emma, Brianna, oh, random, yeah. random customers from the deck. For the worst of the worst for Rex and Daniel. Maybe there's an episode where we just shit on whiskey. Do, here's the here. worst thing, you, but it's it's all subjective, right? So well, the things that you don't personally like, right? Uh, do it after dry week, so as to give it a fair chance for the others. Do it blindly or without any warning from the song. So for me, it would be like all the hoppy ones, and yeah, there's a few that you and I would agree. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm always or the wiggle, uh, uh, really aggressive wiggle one. Yeah, you know what I'm like. This is for real. For real. what I'm. Concerned about whenever it comes to content like that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> On the internet, whenever you're making content and you have an angle where it has something to do with dislike and hatred and anger and disappointment and yeah. overrated, there's just a negative bent to it. They explode. They explode. And then That's you're left you're with this situation where, oh, well, I mean, there was just so many good things for me that happened. I want to keep going back to that well. And quite mm -hmm. frankly, if I could give me 15 seconds uh, to get a little controversial, but I think most people agree with me. It's the reason why we're in the situation room with the media. Yeah, it's easier to make right. progress with it's, negative sh It's negative, it's fear mongering. It's not about any kind of helpful context. It's mm -hmm. how do we look at something where we just get that visceral- A lot of finger pointing. Reaction, so I think you don't want to completely turn away from that because then, ah, oh, you're just like a cheerleader for whiskey. It's like, no, there's two sides of the coin, but that other side of the coin, man, it's so catnippy mm -hmm. for creators that once you go back to that well and you get a taste of this, the numbers and the success and the attention that comes from it, it's hard to resist. Yeah. So we very, very- And then very, that's the reputation. Right. So right. again, there's two sides. You can't just be like, it's all happy-go-lucky because sometimes you got to point something out. This is not good just for the sake of the- you know, my thing. for the context of being helpful, but damn, if you really want to like blow up a channel, just talk about shit that you hate and people on the internet will just yeah. lap it up with a spoon, man. Yep. But few and far between, rarely doing an episode with that kind of angle, sure. Just to have a comprehensive view of what all's going on with, with whiskey and have right. unvarnished opinions that aren't, you know, putting uh, the best possible face on everything. You want to be fair, but... Yeah, yeah, but Gotta be I careful. Did, I'm just nervous at how successful it would be. Evan Litchfield, just got back from my honeymoon in Mexico. My wife and I were at a tequila tasting and they brought out mezcal. Mm -hmm. oh, what's, yeah. what's mezcal for those mezcal, who don't know? Mezcal, uh, I'm gonna get this correctly because mm -hmm. I haven't really studied mezcal and tequila, but evidently all tequila is mezcal, but 
not all mezcal is tequila. So and for the mezcal sake of is the base, it's agave based spirit. Yeah. Not always smoky. Sometimes it's desserty and liqueur. Really? Yeah, and it's oh. really sweet and candied. All right. Um, but often when you're at a bar and they say we've got tequila and we've got mezcal, yeah. their mezcal will be smoky. Yeah. Like Del Magüe Vida. Yeah, so it's not the same kind of smoke, but mm. at least my rudimentary experience with mezcal is where in scotch you can have isla smokiness, mm -hmm. in tequila you can have mezcal smokiness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but not all mezcal is smoky, turns out. Uh, I've seen it but never tried it, and after we tried it, my wife, who does not like whiskey, I have her try, uh, she liked the mezcal she liked the because mezcal. of its smokiness. Yeah. I was shocked. But also excited because I think it opened the door for her to try other spirits. Yeah, think of mm. what you could get. Oh, well, if you mm. like that, yeah. if the smoke was the gateway, right. then good lord. You really want to, uh, you ever want to, you know, a you know, little uh, dance for me puppet with your wife there? This is what you do. Because she's already in her head said, I don't really like whiskey, but I love mezcal. Pour a little of the smoky uh, uh, scotch there and then say, hey, try this mezcal. <laughs> right? That's so dirty. And, that, and then she says, oh, this is another really good mezcal. That's scotch. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, because gotchas are what you need in marriage. More gotcha moments. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? That's the bedrock of my relationship with my wife. No, I know. Just pranking each other. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did I, I'll tell you how she got me. Mm. Was that on an episode? Did I tell her? I did not. Okay. So I come home. It's late at night. Oh, yes. <laughs> but keep going, because they're going to love this. The tech guy come home. It's late at night, working on an episode. The Fridays, I'm always up really late. And uh, I pull up in my, my, my uh, driveway, and all the outside lights are off in the house. Inside, the lights are off. The garage door is open, which is weird. The, the lights inside the garage, uh, they're off. And uh, I go to the front door, and I, I open the front door, pitch black. Not a sound in the house. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, just walking through the house and I'm getting about halfway through the living room. I was like, I'm about to trip over something. We got kids. I flip on the, the flashlight on my phone and like a foot in front of me, my wife is crouched on the ground, <laughs> just waiting for me to come that last 12 inches so she can grab me in pitch blackness and freak out. <laughs> I'm not saying I could have accidentally knocked her ass out, but, <laughs> but if that had actually happened, if you walked into your ah, home, something your suspicious, somebody leaps out of you from the darkness, I mean, just reflex would take over. So I did not beat my wife. What? <laughs> this time. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan, I think the thing with the wife beating, maybe not so much. Yeah. God, what am I sweating? Yeah, Why you're am sweating. I sweating? You're sweating. How am I sweating? It's what just, what happened in that story? It's a matter of time. <laughs> you ready? No. I think we should probably call it. <laughs> I think we should probably just back slowly out of the room. Here's to just good communication, open and healthy dialogue. Yeah. And not, you, not pranking each other in sketchy situations. Have you good communication with a uh, friend? May you good Is it hot in here? With a, it's hot. Why is it so hot? May you good communicate with your spouse. And if you... Uh, it's the bedrock of... Bedrock of a... Understanding and patience. And may you drink with us. 